Hi there, once again welcome to Adutech. I'm delighted to have you back on my channel. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to automatically update a drop down list in Excel. So let's say we have a drop down list like this containing these names. You can see the last name over here is was set. If I go ahead and then I delete set from the source data, this is my source data. So if I delete set, let's say I delete cell set from this list and I go back to my source data, automatically set has been deleted. If I go ahead and then I add a new name, let's say Prince. So let's say I add a new member to my source data or my list, my drop down list should be updated accordingly. So you can see Prince has been added to the drop down list. So I'm going to show you step by step in which you can go ahead and then automatically update your drop down list in Excel. Consider subscribing if you are new to the channel and don't forget to turn on the notification bell. So you don't miss any of my upcoming tutorial. So this is the data I'm going to use. So this is a complete new data I'm going to use to create this particular drop down list, which, is, which will be automatically updated anytime we add a new value to the source data. So the first thing you need to do is to make sure that your data you're going to use is in a table format. So you select anywhere within any of the data within the column here and then go to insert and then click on table. Automatically you're going to select that particular column for you and then just click on OK. So we've now add our data to a table. The next thing we need to do is let's save this table. So I'll just go to insert. Sorry, you go to formulas, formless, and then go to name manager. And then let's just try and then give it a name. So I just click on new. Let's say new, new name. I'll just go ahead. And then ref I'm going to refer to this particular data so let me just clear we'll clear everything here and then say equal to and then select what we have for our record this way and that is all just click on ok this way and you can see the table we created that's the new name that's the name we've assigned to the new table and it's showing up over here let's close this and then this time around we can go ahead and create our drop down list and already i've created a video on that but let me just use this opportunity again to also show you how to create a drop down list consider subscribing if you are new to the channel like this video and share with friends so i'll go ahead and say let me just put in the name over here for my drop down list so when i select this particular column in order to add a drop down list i'll go to a data and then under data we have data tools group and then you click on data validation click on data validation here and then you can see under settings we have allow and then we have any value but we want to build a list so click on the drop down and select a list from here so we're now going to pick our source our source data for this list click on the source and press f3 on your keyboard and it's going to bring you the name of the list you have you can see the new name which is the table we created that is our source I'll select that and click on OK. And the next thing we need to do is that so also click on OK. Once you click on that, if you come back here, you can see we've already built our list now. Let me just go ahead and then zoom in for you to see. So you can see our list has been generated over here. The last name is Mabel. Let's go ahead and then add somebody else to this. So let's see, we add Prince. And then I leave this so when once I click or buy back here, Prince should be added to my list so meaning my list is automatically updated anytime we add a value or a name to the source data so let's go ahead and let's say i go ahead and then add timothy if i go back here this should be added to my drop down list you can see timothy has been added let's go ahead and delete let's say someone from this list so let me just say i delete mabel if I go ahead and then check from the list, maybe it should be part of our list again. So this has been created and it's going to be automatically updated anytime we add any value or add any record to our source data. So basically in this short tutorial, this is how to create a drop down list that is automatically updated anytime you add a value to the source data. I'll have more videos coming up and then in order not to miss any of my videos, remember to subscribe, turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any of my upcoming tutorial. So like come your way again, stay safe and then keep visiting my channel and share this video with friends. Bye bye.